This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday the 23rd. Oh, so much to talk about. Three issues. We have one this morning, one potential issue tomorrow morning, and the third issue Wednesday. And could that be a big snow for north and central Alabama? Hey, let's go in there and dive into it. As we often do, we will start with a look at the big picture. This is a water vapor satellite view, and on top of that, these are contours at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet up, and we've got clearly two branches of the jet. One is the northern branch, the big trough over eastern Canada. That's delivering the cold air. Then underneath that, we have the southern branch that's delivering these waves like we had this morning, and that is always the old can of worms for us down here. Now, this was the radar at 418 uh, this morning. I was up a little early doing this, and you can see the really significant rain is moving out. Uh, it is moving into Georgia. Uh, but note a little bit of freezing drizzle over north Alabama. But the good news, temperatures have stayed above freezing along Interstate 20. Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, mid to upper 30s. There's no ice for those cities. Now, Gadsden's observation is missing. Our thermometer up there is showing 34 in uh, Fort Payne is showing 34, so that's good. The icing issues are limited to areas generally north of U.S. 278. And with the big rains out, there's just some freezing drizzle up there. So the issue this morning is relatively minor. But goodness, look at those numbers. I mean, we got record lows all over the place. Uh, the Great Lakes, the upper Midwest, and this cold air is digging down into Texas where they've got some winter weather woes. Take a look at all the watches and warnings this morning. Now, this is for where we are. Uh, we still have freezing rain advisories around Aniana and Gadsden. Uh, those will be dropped soon. Uh, winter weather advisories for the rest of North Alabama, north of US 278. And again, those should be dropped by mid-morning. Could there be some ice up in there? Absolutely. But uh, problems seem to be fairly limited, which is good. Here's a larger look at the advisories across the deep south. And you've got uh, winter weather advisories in Atlanta. They seem to be above freezing, kind of like Birmingham. I think they'll be out of that soon. Uh, freezing rain advisories almost down to Jackson. But uh, this first wave is just about over. But off to the west, it's a big mess in Texas. They've got winter storm warnings in effect around Dallas-Fort Worth and also back into parts of the Rockies. And uh, this next wave will be coming in here uh, tonight that could squeeze out a touch of freezing rain. And, and it's going to be colder tonight. I, I don't want to totally blow tonight and tomorrow morning off. There could be some icy travel. But the big one everybody's talking about is uh, Wednesday. This is the chance of snow greater than one inch. And over North Alabama, the percentages are over 60%. And uh, that's going to be really the focus of this discussion. Here's a closer look at the probabilities and uh, you can see they they are highest right through North Alabama, up in that 60% uh, bracket for snow greater than one inch uh, from midnight tomorrow night until midnight Wednesday night. Oh, boy. All right, so let's get in here and really get specific if we can. This is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid today at noon. And again, you can clearly pick out the two jet stream branches, the northern branch with a big trough over eastern Canada and the northeast United States, the southern branch with that big low that's over the southwest. This is the look at midday today. This is noon. We should be kind of quiet. The first wave is well to the east. The second wave is to the west where uh, sleet and some freezing rain could be falling around Shreveport and uh, Monroe, Louisiana, and maybe Vicksburg. And understand that will be coming in here tonight. Uh, this is the HER model, and, I, you know, this this thing has performed so well. Uh, but understand, this is only 15 hours in advance. That's one reason it does well. But, uh, again, it's a very high grid resolution model, and this is what it looks like at uh, uh, 5 o'clock local time today. The freeze line is up around the Tennessee River. Could there be a bit of freezing drizzle up there? Yes. And, uh, again, even the HER is suggesting maybe some uh, some snow coming into Marion and Lamar counties at 5 o'clock today. And again, that is a very real possibility and something we have to look at in the forecast. If you're in Marion or Vernon uh, or Russellville or Haleyville, maybe even Fayette or Jasper, could there be some snow or a wintry mix 
this evening? Yes. And again, I know we're focusing on Wednesday, but I don't want to minimize this thing tonight. But again, the freeze line is to the north, so any travel issues this evening should be pretty limited. But late tonight, temperatures begin to drop. And this is tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock. This is the NAM, uh, the high-res NAM, the 4-kilometer NAM. And it's got the freeze line down to Greensboro and Brent. And on the Jefferson-Shelby County line, that blue line, with light freezing rain or freezing drizzle north of the freeze line. And understand there is a real possibility there could be icy travel late tonight and tomorrow morning. I don't want to minimize that. Uh, and it doesn't take a lot to create problems, uh, as we all know. And that's going to be an issue. And uh, I think that there could be some advisories issued because of this, just something to watch. So that's the second issue. The first issue is this morning. This is the second issue. And then by midday, that wave is on by and we're dry. And tomorrow should be just kind of cloudy-ish and uh, chilly with highs in the 40s. The sun might pop out at times. All right, on to Wednesday. This is Wednesday at noon. And the GFS is developing a surface low south of Morgan City, Louisiana. And on the northern fringe of this, in the colder air, it's suggesting potential for some snow. 6 o'clock Wednesday evening, the surface low is 1,004 millibars south of Panama City Beach. And again, uh, with cold air in place, this is a classic snow setup for North Alabama. The GFS, again, does indicate some snow there, but the other models are much more bullish. Uh, this is the NAM, North American Mesoscale model, the, the four-kilometer high-res NAM, valid Wednesday at noon. And uh, all the blue there, that's uh, snow, and that could be uh, some way. Look, this is a classic Gulf low type situation, and we've had a lot, say a lot, a decent amount of experience with these. This is the accumulation coming off the uh, uh, lower res NAM, uh, valid uh, through Wednesday night. And goodness, it's, uh, it's going kind of haywire. It, it's got snow accumulations through parts of Fayette and Walker and Jefferson counties of over nine inches. I don't think that verifies. I think there's way too much. But understand with a classic Gulf low, there will be a strip of heavier snow that's typically about 30, 40, maybe 50 miles wide. Where that ultimately begins to fall, we don't know that until it gets on the board. But it could be somewhere in that zone. Let's look at the uh, uh, short-range ensemble forecast, the SREF. This is the uh, plume viewer. The black line, that is the, the mean, and the mean is a little over three inches, and this is for Birmingham. But some of the ensemble members do go nuts, and they ramp this thing up to over eight inches. You've got two members over eight inches for Birmingham, and, and many of them are over three inches. Uh, so that, again, is increasing our confidence that snow will occur here Wednesday. Let's look at the European model. Again, consistency is very good, and the idea of that heavier strip of snow, pretty close to where we are. In fact, uh, you know, it's printing out six and seven inch amounts for places like Coleman and Gadsden and Jasper with Birmingham at three. And this is coming from the Weather Prediction Center, the WPC. This is their 72 hour snow accumulation, the 75 percentile, and it's got numbers of four and five inches around here. And uh, we'll just kind of throw this out for now. Potential for significant snow across north and central Alabama. Uh, defining the lines and the accumulation amount, uh, we're not going to do that at this point. But uh, confidence is certainly increasing. And this could be a significant event on Wednesday. All right, this is Thursday. The Gulf Low is kicking out into the Atlantic, and we are just uh, cool and dry. Note more snow in Oklahoma and parts of Texas, and this is Friday. Again, just looks kind of uh, cold and dry. Highs would be around 40 maybe if this is right. And uh, just maybe we'll see a little sun on Thursday and Friday. Wouldn't that be good? Saturday as the weekend begins. We see no precipitation problems. The day will be uh, cold to start uh, with mid-20s, the high maybe around 50. And again, that should be a bright, sunny day. And Sunday looks dry, and Sunday should be warmer with mid-50s. So the weekend, not too bad after this uh, midweek mischief here. And then Monday of next week, a storm system, but this time the surface low is over the Great Plains, and of course that's just warm. In fact, if this is right, by golly, we could be looking at thunderstorms, maybe some strong storms. The GFS is printing a high of 67 
for Birmingham on Monday. So could we go from a big snow on Wednesday to a strong storm event Monday of next week? Sure we can. And hey, you know, this is in early March. You know, Monday's March the 2nd. This is the beginning of the spring tornado season here. This is the end of the forecast period, the middle of next week. And again, uh, the two branches are well-defined, northern branch up in Canada with the cold air and the southern branch with some uh, trouble back in the southwest United States. But again, that just looks uh, wet out there with no sign of any uh, winter mischief. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. Notes in the blog, next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.